Okay, he brought me over this pile of crap to work on. So this is some kind of a billet, radial mounted caliper for, uh, was it FXR? Yeah. And it's, what did that swing arm cost? 2,800. Are you, are you, can you say that with a straight face? 2,800. Billet swing arm. And what did this piece of shit cost? Or a custom on, bracket? On deal. No, it's on the deal. It's part of the $2,800. Okay, so I've been dicking around this thing for about 20 minutes trying to figure out what I'm going to do to fix it because it ain't made very good. So right off the bat, we got 9 thou bow between this surface here, outer edge, and the, over here. You can put a 9 thou feeler gauge on that thing. So it's 9 thou out. I sanded it. You can see where the sand mark is right here and right here on the edge. It's bowed. I have my flatness testing table here. We go like this. You hear it's pretty flat. Go this way. <laughs> and here it's not too flat. It's dropping into every little groove. So there's your test. So when you lay it on the flat surface here and you run a feeler gauge under there, it's nine thou out. Now the other thing we had, we had a uh, how much? We had what eight thou variance between here and here by a mic or yeah. a caliper. Mm -hmm. In every one of these little marks, you can feel. And they have a big step here between right here. There's a major step between that and that level. But every one of these little chicken shit little CNC cuts they did is not very flat. And over here they had the bigger cuts, and these are more flatter feeling, but for some reason the whole thing is bent. It's not machined that way, it's bent that way. So that means they clamped it in some kind of a jig too much and they bent the damn thing. So I'm trying to figure out how to make it square because we need to have these two surfaces here flat to each other and it needs to be perpendicular to this 90 degrees the rest of it's cosmetic but those surfaces matter so i have no way of holding this thing so my angle plate doesn't uh won't fit here the grooves are too big in the angle plate down there that one the, the far one way over there that one this here falls in a groove because they made this nice, fancy ass, stupid step shoulder on everything. So, about the only thing I got to come off of, I'm going to go try is, is come off this center hole right here, put a lathe and spin it, and I'll cut this thing flat. And once we got a flat surface, then I can lay it down, clamp it, and cut this flat. And I can also turn it 90 degrees and come across here with my end mill and do a skim cut like this and square that to the surface. And that should get the caliper square to the, that surface. Everything else doesn't matter. So here you go, Joe. You get to use this. You can. Mr. Video Camera. So you know how to do all this now, right? And one thing you don't, 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 don't uh... Bring me the uh, plastic camera. Don't step on chips on the floor and bare feet. No, is that, folks? No shoes. Right, don't step on the chips with your bare feet. Right. I'm going to get on your, on your left hand, right hand side over here. better part that's not all chewed up. We gotta beat it in there with a big hammer. You got a big hammer? I just gave you one, didn't I? Is that tight? It appears to be. Too square now? I don't know. Are you resting on the end down there? Yeah, I was trying to keep my arms steady. There is a tripod in there. I'll get credit for the video on this one. Everybody likes Walker right now, so you gotta beat Walker. Really? Yeah. Okay. Be 
sir. Okay. So first thing I do is you'll be able to go all the way to the edge. All right. We didn't quite make it, did we? No, bummer. I do. Probably one nice sharper bit in here. So I just dull ass one. Okay. Somebody's sneaking in over there. Who's up? I don't see him yet. Somebody it is. Well, what's his face? Perfect. <laughs> Old what's his face? I don't want that dull one. You mean you're gonna pay a lot of money? Yeah, I am. You want a new one? Yep. There he is. Hey. Oh, shit. Hey, you know you got a car sitting out front with the trunk open? Oh, it's mine. <laughs> I should close that. You want me to go get it for you? If you would, please. Yep. Here's a new bit. Cool. How much those cost? 10, 12 bucks. We'll add it to your bill. Shit, for $2,800, I can charge you $500 to fix it. <laughs> Without feeling too bad, huh? Let's see if we go all the way in here without hitting anything. I think we've got enough room. Looks like we're gonna make it. Did I go all the way down to that thing? All the way down to the. What do you call that thing? I got a clip by five. Stop by five. Okay, so now we're gonna go. See how far out of whack this is. Normally I have the indicator on this side I can see it. Here's we have some chips in the way. No hats? Uh, but, oh. How am I supposed to go get them? I thought they were dropping them off. No, I heard back from them. I asked them if there's like a pickup or a drop off scenario that we can have. And I haven't heard back from them. You mean he blew he blew me off again? No. Uh, you said everybody's gonna have hats today, and now we have no hats. I said we might. Oh, might. You get that? Might have hats. That means no. No hats. No hats. Right now. Right now. I got no way of putting this anywhere. Where can I put this? There's no room for it. Damn. I'm just going to have to guess. Oop, it's already cutting. Look at that. You see that cut mark right there? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's just go see what happens. <coughs> Ooh, that's leaving an edge. You see that? Clunk. I see a cut mark on it. Okay, that's going to be about 30 thou off. Let me get over here. Oh well. Clunk. Moves. The problem is it moves as I'm cutting it too. So. Oh well. This might not work the best. But. Oh, 
I know how I can tell. Use this. You just have to think of the way we're doing it. That's all. Problem is I don't know how much it's gonna hold it, and once it breaks it free, we're screwed. All right. Let's see what happens.
love to. Awesome chat. first machine one so. Yeah. Over here we got past the first machine one. We can go across here. And down here, see it's clean from here to here. And this is all over from here. All That's all low. Oh low, yeah. So let's we'll we'll cut here and we'll cut here like we already know. So these are two separate machine marks. So this is one cutter, two cutter. It looks like it's one cutter here and one cutter here and one cutter there. Yep. So they made three passes of this cutter. They went too deep in the middle. This is all chatter because it's cutting way too fast.
in those days. What is it? $2,800 break bracket? A $2,800 break bracket? Yeah. It's more than the fucking bike. No, it's not my car. For mine. No, you got more than your car. I'm going to. go there now, but I just checked and it would take me, it would take me uh, two hours to get to Santee right now, so I'm not going to do that. Two hours to get there? Yeah, because of the traffic. Is that slow this time of day? Yeah. Two hours? Yeah, I just checked it. Jeez. I my tank up again to go that far. It's like 22 miles? 13? Not All right, that's 15. 18 miles. 18 miles, two hours. 18, an hour and 52 minutes to go to 18 miles. That's pretty good. I can walk almost out there. I think I can walk out there. Yeah, well, I can go faster than my bicycle, isn't it? I almost got away from it. Now it's just, they just cut all the way across, right? It's not coming over there either, Steve. There it is. That's clean. Uh, a couple of chatters went in there, you can see it. It's 90% clean right there, though. $2,800 bracket? Yeah. And you still gotta fix it? Oh, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Isn't that Canada, you said? Yeah. What? Canadian, too. It's not even China. Yeah. China doesn't go to work for this. There's a whole swing arm as well. That came with it. Oh, it's a swing arm as well? No, it's just a bracket. Swing arm back there. That's an extra part. Yeah, that's just a bracket. Yeah, it's just a bracket. Yeah, it's just a bracket. It's just packaging. What did it not hit? Nice finish, huh? It's just skimmed across. Tom was out here. Hey, you got the cash for the hats, though, right? I am money, yes. Get in the car and bring them out for that kind of money, and geez. You know, see how bad you finish it when you chatter? Yeah. I don't care if it's flat. Yeah. Down there in the, in the middle is what counts, right? It's kind of flat, and not really. And down here is what, ma what matters in this surface, right? Yeah, well, this surface here is good. It's just this surface out here sucks. It's going to the inside anyway, you won't see it. Oh, you'll see it. You'll see it. I'm gonna try something else. Well, don't put your hands on there when it's still running. Nope. No, I would never do that. No good idea. I would never do something. He's gonna wait until traffic dies down, then he's gonna head over. I'm gonna give him the address. Perfect. Okay. I don't want to go that much. I don't need to go that far. What number are we on? There we go. Let's try. I already forgot. Alright, we're almost done right now. Are you? 
on this part. Do it by hand from your end. Well, too far. Okay. Got a new gouge. Yeah, it's the best I could do that. That was slow and easy, but it still did it. Alright, but it cleaned all the way across. Now I'm going to take it out. He got this camera blown away up, doesn't he? Oh, yeah, he did. Alright, let's see what we got this here. It came with a like a swing arm and stuff. Oh, you gotta like. FXR crap. FXR crap. Yes, FXR crap. Okay, Mr. Crap, bring it over here. You got work to do. In a rag. In my rag. Don't be afraid to scratch it. Hey, don't put that chip on the floor. <laughs> That makes it look a little better. No, it doesn't. It didn't? Get homie to come over and polish it up. I'm trying to make it flat and that's really funny. Oh, that's like brand new. Sure. I believe you. You believe me? No. No? That didn't, <laughs> that didn't work. Are you sure? Yep. What if I use a better disc? Probably that'll work oh. more better. More better? You don't like my disc paper? No, it's fine. I mean... Go back to my 120 disc. My wrist hurts already. It's already getting better. Get a difference? Yep. What are you stealing over there? Why you fix this thing? Is that your inner? No. Somebody else's? Yeah. Mine is, my, the one that I actually own is in here somewhere, but I don't, but we found another one. I tried to get you another one on eBay, but it went for 300 something bucks. Yeah, go find yours. That way I get mine back. <laughs> How did you lose your inner primer? <laughs> All right. No, it's not. So we're going to get this flattened out. Try to clean up these edges here. Right. Slip back a little bit. Okay, back sanding a little bit. So I probably could just sand the damn thing flat, much sanding I've been doing. So I haven't quite got the chatter marks out yet, but it's pretty flat as you can see, nice and smooth. But uh, anyway, you just keep doing this as long as you want to do it to get it until it comes out. Eventually, it will get flat. As long as you got a nice flat surface and good paper. This is 3M uh, Pro paper, so it doesn't load up and has nice, even grit in it. You don't have a bunch of 
big chunk one sticking up to scratch up everything. So it gives you a nice smooth finish. So it's not nice, pretty much dead flat. Actually, you get a little bit of machine mark still right there. These scratches are almost gone. So like I said, I could just sand it like this, probably been quicker anyway, but when you're using such a crappy way of holding stuff, you can't cut, can't be too aggressive on your cuts. All right, let's see how this looks on the metal here. I think that was about nine thou out of flatness. I could have sanded that out, definitely. Okay, this we're gonna cut out here on this side, though. Okay, so we know how this sounded before over here on the, on the mill. So let's see what we got this time. I'm hiding. There you go, nice and quiet so it's flat. Huh? Huh? 